Hi, I'm Manveer, Principal Consultant at Red Oak Consulting, and this is the second in a series of videos sponsored by Microsoft and AMD. In the last video, you would have seen an AMD-focused HPC cluster being deployed using Azure DevOps. We were able to deploy industry-leading technology at the touch of a button. If you haven't seen the video, please visit www.redoakconsulting.co.uk forward slash videos, where my colleague Nick Skingle shows you how it's done. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a tool called Reframe. Reframe is a Python framework and it has been designed especially for running regression tests in a HPC environment. So let's get started. So here we are on the HPC cluster and if we type ls, we will see two objects, a mysettings.py file and the Reframe directory. So the mysettings.py file is the configuration file for Reframe. And I'm just going to point out the things here which are non-default. So I have defined this cluster, CycleCloud, and it has four reframe partitions. One, two, three, four. These partitions are based on HV120 v2 and v3 virtual machines. Now the v2s are based on the AMD Epic Rome architecture and the v3s are based on the newer AMD Epic Milan architecture. Since we're using the Slurm scheduler, we should choose SQ as the scheduler option I've chosen local for the launcher option. And finally, since Slurm partitions don't map exactly onto reframe partitions, we need to make that connection with this access option. Also, I have defined two environments here for our CycleCloud cluster, GNU and built-in. So that's it for the mysettings.py file. Let's now have a look inside this reframe directory. And inside here, you will see another directory called SRC, which will be the only thing here when you log into the cluster for the first time. And it contains the inputs we need for our benchmarks. Now the .py files are actual reframe test files. And we ran tests for two softwares. So ANSYS LS Dyna and OpenFirm.com. Let's have a look at our LS Dyna test. So you will see this base class called LS Dyna car to car defined. And the benchmark we're running is a well-known one called car to car. It is currently set to run on two of the reframe partitions we defined, but I'm going to change that now to one, and I'm going to choose a V3 virtual machine. Now, before running any workloads, we are going to export some variables to optimize the use of MPI, as shown here. And then finally, we have the three functions here. So the sanity function will check that our benchmark finishes correctly and the two performance functions will give us timing. So the first one, we'll look at the element processing part of the calculation, and this is parallel heavy, so it will give us a good idea of parallel scaling. Whereas the elapsed time performance function will look at the total time of the benchmark and includes both serial and parallel parts. Now down here, we have four extra classes which correspond to running our benchmark on one, two, four, and six nodes. So now let's leave that file we are now ready to run our benchmark, so let's go to the home directory and let's open a new screen using tmux. I'm now going to copy and paste the relevant command. And this command begins with the location of the reframe executable. And we then tell it the location of the reframe configuration file and the relevant test file. We select the cycle cloud cluster and in this case I have chosen the two node test, but without this dash n option it would run all of the tests. This keep stage files argument is really useful as it will keep the outputs from the benchmarks which are normally deleted when a successful benchmark is run. And finally there's this performance report option which will give the results of our benchmark in a really easy to digest form. So let's press enter and it's time to go away and wait. So the benchmarking is now finished and we can see that our test passed and we can also see the results from our performance tests. These can be reviewed and are stored in this perf logs directory. And since we left the stage files, we can now extract them and use them for visualization using a software such as Paraview or LS PrePost. So there you have it, industry leading technology from Microsoft and AMD being used to benchmark HPC workflows on a cloud HPC cluster. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget that in the next video, my colleague James Page will show you how to visualize the outputs from these benchmarks on AMD's new M125 GPU now available on Microsoft Azure. Now I know this has been quite a brief overview, so if you have any questions, please visit www.redoakconsulting.co.uk and check out the accompanying white paper.